This time we'll share the internet from SSH Tunnel Manager by the Wi-Fi hotspot. We have our PC that is connected to the home network by the built-in Wi-Fi adapter. So this PC is connected to the only one Wi-Fi hotspot for now. We'll receive the Internet from our home network and then share it via WSSH Tunnel Manager using the only one built-in network card. Here we are also connected to NordVPN. It doesn't disturb us, on the contrary, it can provide additional anonymity. So, go to WSSH Tunnel Manager. Be sure that you are on SSH tab. If not, switch to it. We see a list of SSH hosts. To add a new one, right-click and choose Add SSH in the menu. I won't do this because I already have everything I need. I'll just show what to do at the beginning. After writing a new SSH host, you should test it. Select all necessary SSH hosts using the Shift key. Right-click on them and then test SSH. You'll see that a test is ongoing. You can also change settings if needed. For instance, you can change a URL for checking. We've tested our hosts they are alive. Before going further, we need to switch on the Wi-Fi hotspot. You should title it and create an 8-symbol password. For example, Wi-Fi underscore SSH. After that, activate the checkbox and switch it on. Then, a new adapter My Wi-Fi appears. It may also be called My Wi-Fi 1 or My Wi-Fi 2 or etc. The Wi-Fi is activated, but we can't connect to it now, because it isn't receiving any internet yet. First, we need to connect SSH to it. To do that, we need to configure our hosts. You can configure all hosts at once or separately. I'll configure all at once. So right-click on any host, then Auto DNS All. I'll choose here Virtual Machine Bridge, but you can also opt for Ethernet to share the Internet via Ethernet port. But now we are talking about the Wi-Fi hotspot. So choose DNS that will be suitable for you. If you want to use VPN, choose UDP DNS or Onion DNS and UDP. So I've chosen Onion DNS and UDP. Then I connect to SSH tunnel by clicking checkboxes. You can activate two hosts and in case of any connection break with the first, you connect the second. After that click Run Socks. So, we are connected, and the test is in process, as well as a DNS search. DNS matches the country. So, if your tunnel is created for France, DNS will also match France. Finally, DNS has been found, bridge SSH adapter is running, and Wi-Fi hotspot has been activated. We see it due to the green icon here. 
Now we can connect to our Wi-Fi hotspot with the Internet from our Tunnel Manager. We can also see that the Internet is going via VPN and SSH. That's all. Bye!